What is going on everybody? My name is Doofy300 and before I start the video I like to uh, say a few things. So first of all, thank you guys for stopping by in my video. I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> and second of all, this is my first Black Ops 2 info video for you guys. And I know that my channel is more on the battlefield side but Black Ops 2 is actually starting to... Hmm, how do I say this? Please me, I guess. Actually starting to look pretty good, but what I'm more focused on in Black Ops 2 is zombies, and I'll keep you guys posted on that once anything gets released, uh, like official. But yeah, and before I start this commentary, let me just say that the gameplay you're watching is a wager, is a high roller wager match. Uh, it's gun game, and at the beginning I wasn't doing too, doing too good, but I actually did end up winning this game. So just watch that and listen to this commentary, and let's get into it. So, a list of maps that were released for Black Ops 2. Uh, it is stated as a rumor, but I think most of them are probably true. So let's get into it. First map is Carrier. It's a Chinese super carrier. Has open engagement on the deck with great close quarter fights through the hull. So yeah, that's nothing special, I guess. Next one is Cargo. It's Port of Singapore, good for close quarters engagement and verticality. Alright, so close quarters is probably going to be a good shotgun map. Next map on the list is Drone. Hidden drone facility in the heart of the Minamar jungles? I think that's how you say it. Minamar jungles. So hidden drone facility in the heart of the Minamar jungles. Great long engagements down the center. Fun close quarter fights through the facility. So I guess it's going to be something like jungle, just with a facility in the middle. So sort of like crisis, I think, just with more trees around, possibly. I don't know. But next map is Express, Los Angeles Bullet Train Station. Good long to medium engagements up and down the bullet train tracks. So this map probably going to be somewhat open because of the train tracks, so probably snipers are going to go each on their own end and just snipe each other from there possibly but yeah and this map is probably true because as you all know if you've seen the campaign gameplay of Black Ops 2 is in, Los, is in Los Angeles and this map Express is in the Los Angeles bullet train station so yeah anyways next map is hijacked luxurious super yacht frantic yet controlled close quarters engagements so it's probably gonna be a small map Probably going to be like, uh, I think Hijax is going to be Black Ops's, Black Ops 2's Nuketown or Modern Warfare 2's Rust, the small maps, because everyone seems to like those because you could stack up a lot of kills in that, and there's not too much traveling. Uh, next map is Aftermath, set in a ruined downtown Los Angeles after an invasion. So that's probably going to be a map in the campaign. So probably somewhere in the campaign, uh, you're going to see that uh, setting in the multiplayer map known as uh, Aftermath. Next, we have Meltdown. It's a Pakistan nuclear power plant. Battle for control of the nuclear cooling tower and the surrounding facilities. Oh yeah, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I think the nuclear thing is probably just going to be like in the middle of the map because that's what they do with lots of stuff. Probably going to be like somewhat like the same as launch. So yeah. Next is nightclub. Uh, it's a floating resort in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Tight corners and angles throughout. I think this map is probably actually going to be really cool. First of all, it's a floating resort so, uh, in the middle of an ocean. I don't know. I'm trying to picture that in my head. I think it's going to be cool. I wonder if you could fall off <laughs> in the water. And there's going to be tight corners with angles, so we have lots of buildings because it is a resort. Uh, just six more maps, stay with me guys. So we have Overflow, Peshawar, Pakistan, I think that's how you say it. So great urban engagements in the flooded streets. Oh, flooded street. I don't think they'll make the streets too flooded because I don't, I don't know, maybe they might... Uh, Make your character able to swim 
in Black Ops 2, but I don't think it will. I don't know, we'll see. I think it'll be cool if they do let us swim. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> but they probably will have the water at least up to like your knees or something. No, because then... Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Just ignore that. So overflow is Pashwar, Pakistan. Great urban engagements in the flooded streets. You guys can think whatever you want about that map. And the next map on the list is Raid. But before I start describing the last five maps, let me just say that the gameplay you are now watching is some highlights of this pretty good game, I guess you could say, on launch. I went 33-7, and 7, and yeah, so I'll just be showing you guys the highlights of that game because I'm not going to be talking for that much longer. <clears throat> so yeah, Raid. Fight through this hillside mansion in the Hollywood Hills. Hectic close quarters engagements. I, yeah, that's actually really cool fighting in Hollywood Hills. I think Black Ops 2, they're actually really having some really creative ideas for maps. And uh, they're actually really trying to change Call of Duty because they know that lots of people are starting to hate on it. But we'll see if they changed it. Uh, if the change was good or not. So, next map is Slums. Rundown section of Panama, great close quarters engagements, and tough chokes to fight over. Mm hmm. Rundown section of Panama, so this is in thousand, um, South America, I'm pretty sure. Or North America at the end. But close quarter, great close quarters engagements, and tough chokes to fight over. So, there's choke points, I guess. But yeah, so three maps left, guys. Stay with me. Oh, we're almost done. So the next map is called Socotra. Uh, this was originally called Yemen, if you guys have seen the Black Ops 2 Gamescom live stream. But the map known as Yemen is now called Socotra. Just to let you guys know. So this is the urban streets of Yemen. So they just changed the city name to a different thing, I guess. So urban streets of Yemen. Tight alleys and close quarters engagements. I've seen gameplay of that map. I wasn't a big fan of that one. It seemed a bit dull to me. That's just my opinion. You guys can leave whatever your opinion is in the comments below. Alright, last two maps is Turbine. Wind farm in the sleep hills of Yemen. Fight across the different tiers and angles. I think this one's going to be cool. I have a feeling it's going to be open map. Somewhat like Wasteland if you guys remember from Modern Warfare 2. And I think I would like this map because it might remind me of Battlefield if it is an open map, but we'll see. And finally, the last map is Village, border town between China and Kyrgyzstan. I don't even know. It's like the G Y Z S together. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that, but yeah. So border town between China and Kyrgyzstan. Classic engagement and destinations to fight over. Hmm, classic engagements and destinations. I don't know what that means. Probably going to be... I don't know. But the descriptions on all these maps do seem promising. But I guess we just have to wait and see. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. This has been my first Black Ops 2 info video for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. It'll really help me out. And if you're new here, subscribe because there'll be plenty more videos in the future. So uh, until next time, guys, Doofy300, out.